Ten Rubik Rub 14 and today I will be telling you guys how to make some GFX so yeah let's just get straight into it everything here will be in the description um so first you're gonna open up Roblox Studio just click like the base plate or the classic base plate it doesn't even matter I'm just gonna use the classic one okay it's loading in just wait for a couple seconds all right we are inside of the game not the game <laughs> inside of roblox studio um so what you're gonna need is the load character plugin by already pro i'm gonna link this plugin inside of the description Make sure you spawn at origin and type your name in, like me, Dragon Beatbox 2012, just like this, spawn at origin, oops, and make sure you spawn R6, this is very, very, very important, you have to spawn R6, where is my guy, okay, here it is, right here, and if you go to the properties right here um, and go to transform you will see that the origin position so if you want to make your character stand up make the origin position 3 0 3 0 like this now you're gonna right click your character press export selection um, press export selection and you can save it inside of a file like me it's called thing as you can see I have a bunch of stuff I already saved it so and you can name it whatever you want and once you're done doing that you're gonna click this drop down button you're gonna put humanoid on top of shirt like this and it will remove all of the texture um and now you're gonna right um click the bear your accessories and then hold shift and then click all of your other accessories and then you do the export selection thing again and you can save it inside of the same file now once you've done that, you're gonna hop into Blender Paint Rig V3. I'm gonna give the um, Google Drive file of the Blender thing, the Blender template inside of the description. It should look like this, you're gonna have this creepy purple guy um, and you'll have this thing on top. So, to get the texture, you're gonna zoom in like this uh, using the scroll wheel and you can also move by using the scroll wheel. It should say spark tan text.png and you basically click this um, thing, the file, and then you go to your folder and you're gonna get the texture it should say handle one diff um, or you can actually check in the folder on what the texture is and what it looks like so it should look like this you know this is the character and now you'll see that he's bald and has cancer and we will fix that very soon because if we go to file import wavefront obj and get the hats that you saved you will now have hats um make sure you uh get the hats go to this thing turn on ambient o collision wait i forgot to change the ranger engine to ev so now ambient o collision bloom 
and then go to shadows this click this thing hybrid and soft shadows and now you can make it more glossy by changing the specular to 0 0.5 and the roughness to 0 0.4 to be the exact same as the body and now what you're gonna do is drag this down because we're gonna group the hats with the head so you know if we click on our character and we move it as you can see our hats don't move with us so to do that you're gonna click on your hats and press the a head attachment right over there and now you're gonna press ctrl p wait uh, you have to do is um click on the hats press shift and then click on the head attachment oops i accidentally clicked all of them just like this you're supposed to do this right click click go on parent and click object and now oops if you move the character the hats will stay with it now um you know you're probably like you know dragon we've done enough you know we should just stop right here right we're just done this is cool we have our character yeah i'm sorry to tell you this but you have to get the hdr right if you want to make it like super realistic so to get the HDRIs, you have to go to polyhaven.com. I'll link this in the description. Scroll down, you press HDRIs, and you're gonna pick one that you like. This is gonna be like the lighting, basically. Um, um, I like this one called Chinese Garden. Right here, this is a pretty cool one. You can download 8K for, or 4K. I recommend 8K if you have a cool gaming computer. And keep it as EXR and download it. I've already, already downloaded this, so I don't really need it. Let's go back to Blender. And now, you press this plus button right here. I'm gonna zoom in on that. And you're gonna go to Sculpting and go to Shading. Now, you'll see this menu, you're probably like, what is this menu, man? Um, this is how you shade it, so, you're gonna go to this object thing, and press world. Just like this. And now, you're gonna press this thing right here, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Just like this. And now you're gonna press add, texture and environment texture you can just place it wherever you want and connect this color thing to this color thing now everything will be like purple pink you know now you'll press open and you have the download thing chinese garden you're gonna double click it and now let's just wait it's kind of laggy there it is we got our hdri let's go back to the default now we have the thingy magic and um you can add some lighting if you want like you just like press add and go to light and i like point but you can do anything you want once you're done doing this, you know, we gotta face our character to the sun if you want, if we wanna, if we wanna, you know, capture our face, you know, not our back. Just like this. And now you're gonna press add again. You're gonna press camera. Now, you don't need to position this or anything. If you press number pad zero, but if you you're on um, laptop and you don't have it, you can go to view. 
but it's not there where is it I don't even know where it is but you can just find it somewhere wait is it over here yeah cameras and press active camera and now you can change the resolution of the rendering if you want I'm just gonna do this 1080 by 1080 because I'm not really gonna do a really high quality texture and you're gonna go to this thing right here it looks like a camera go down to fill film and click transparent oh wait I forgot to um make the pose of the character okay so if you want to make the pose you just click on your character this thing and press on the object mode and go to pose mode now you're if you can click this rotate on the side of the screen and you can make your pose I'm just gonna make my pose like this Boom. Bam. Bam. Now we're finished. We can just click number pad zero again, just like this. And now we're gonna press F12 or you can go over here or render and press render image. Now it will start to load, just wait a little bit and boom, you're done. So if you wanna save your image, you're gonna go to image and save as. I'm gonna name it cool pose and you can press save as image. So that's basically all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button so I can post more stuff like this. Peace!